It's a, uh, obviously a disappointing loss for us because we had a real great opportunity to beat a very good team tonight uh, with the lead late in the game. Um, I was really proud of how our effort and our, our, our toughness that we showed today physically. Uh, they hurt us inside. Uh, obviously, uh, the uh, turnovers were a key factor, 19 to 11. Um, and getting 17 more foul shots attempted by your opponent is a, a tough recipe. We shot it well enough to win. I mean, 53%. And, uh, you know, that that was uh, – I thought that uh, the first half, Lamar had a really good first half. We should have had a lead at halftime. Uh, it was uh, – we were coming off form well a couple times. And so we made mistakes. But, uh, you know, I, I felt good. I told our team after about our effort and our fight and our preparation for this game. That's a good team. Uh, obviously, uh, one of the best teams in the country, nationally ranked. And, uh, you know, we had a real chance and a great opportunity to beat them today. And just um, sad and unfortunate we couldn't close the deal. Questions? I think we're real close. I mean, um, you know, a game like today could have, we 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 could have won this game. You know, we're up by one. Jay makes the big three. I don't know what the ensuing play is. We're down one, and we're getting a travel. And, you know, in transition, just you know, some plays where we're just going. We got to have a little more uh, experience and understanding that you know, we, and that's what you got to cr credit Thornwell about. I mean, he really has a feel and understanding for the game and settles his team down. Uh, you know, that's why, you know, he's right now, in my opinion, the uh, leading candidate for player of the year. Um, you know, plays 38 minutes, does a lot of tough things. Uh, but we're close. I mean, you know, Schneider didn't have one of his uh, best performance of the year. And, and I don't, I mean defensively. I mean, we're getting hurt with their duck-ins. You know, those two big guys were, were 10 for 14 from the field. And you look at the stats, even if you give up 28 to Thornwell, you know, if we do a little better job with those two, we have a great chance to win. I mean, really, their front line was uh, dominant. Um, and, you know, uh, you look at the fouls. I mean, we had 27 fouls. Uh, they only had 15. And, you know, that's a factor in the game because typically they uh, average about 25 fouls a game. And this is the second most uh, fewest fouls they've committed all year. So we didn't get to line enough. Well, you know, he had his best game uh, uh, in the SEC and SEC games by far today and really played with a lot of confidence. So I was excited for him because uh, he's been working hard and he's been keeping a positive attitude. And, um, you know, I uh, am, am very, very pleased. And I thought Lamar, when he was in there, it really hurt us to not have Lamar in the second half because he's creating shots for Tyson. And Tyson on the ball – uh, it was better for us when he was off the ball so he could get shots created for him. And uh, that was just a bad break for us to not have either one of our true point guards out there tonight uh, in the second half. I think uh, Lamar maybe played two and a half minutes, something like that. Any update on either one of those guys? IJ or no. Lamar? Uh, yeah, I'll go back and obviously watch the film. But uh, I thought that, uh, you know, we had a couple turnovers, you know, against their zone, one against their press that led to uh, opportunities for them during that juncture. Uh, and uh, we uh, – they had, they had a couple scramble plays, big, where the ball, you know, ended up in their hands. I think 20 hit a big shot off of uh, – of a offensive rebound that they somehow scrambled to and got instead of us, but uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm, I feel good about how our guys competed and how, how they played today in terms of their uh, toughness. So we outboarded them. You know, we outboarded a team that typically outboards their opponents. So we did a you know a good job in that respect and shot a very high percentage. I mean, shoot 54, 53 percent. You know, that's a against that team is pretty good, and we were. 
what were we, 40% from three? I think they lead the country in three-point field goal percentage defense. So we did some positive things today, just not enough. Well, I think that the second foul really threw him off in, you know, in the first half. So, I mean, and the reason I kept him out of the game is we just didn't want to go into halftime with him having three fouls if we had the lead. We had the lead with him out during that juncture for most of the time. I brought him back in with two fouls for a minute, then we had the lead. I'm like, hey, I'm not going to gamble on him picking up a third if we can have the lead or, you know, go in uh, at halftime with the lead or, or, or uh, you know, tied. And uh, so that was the thought process. And, um, you know, second half, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it was defense or not. I mean, uh, we were doing a lot of ball screening action because of the pressure that was out on us. And it really, really hurt us to not have uh, a point guard out there that normally plays with the ball a lot uh, against that pressure defense. And I thought that uh, Tyson did a very good job. Uh, but it didn't allow him to get as many uh, open shots because he had the ball in his hands. And we even went to Q a couple times to run it where we were trying to run a play to uh, get him to create for uh, for Tyson. Coach Martin mentioned the, the switch to zone two. What did that do to the offensive game? Yeah, we didn't attack it great. Uh, we got, you know, Mario made a big shot uh, at the free throw line. I think it cut it to two. You have to tell me what the score was at that point. And uh, we had a couple of uh, good looks against it. We made some shots against their zone. We had a big uh, – Tyson had one in the corner that uh, I think was a three-point game at that time that went in and out, and uh, we didn't get back uh, in the corner farthest from our bench, in front of our bench in the second half. That was a big – because he had been hot. That thing was just like in and out. So you go back and start thinking about shots and calls. I mean, you know – so when I evaluate this film, um, uh, I've got some things that I remember it happened in the game. I'll be curious what they look like. One more question.